Hey there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can work with Zoho CRM. Zoho CRM has free and premium plans and you can sign up using your Facebook account or Google account. Once signed up, you will get into this dashboard where you will be able to access CRM, Zoho Creator, Work Tracker and Docs along with many other applications. So let me click on Zoho CRM. It should take you to the Zoho CRM dashboard where you will be able to access all the features. Okay, this is the dashboard that shows leads, contacts, accounts and activities. Leads are basically the individual or the representative of organization which are showing interest in your service or products. So whenever you find someone interested in your product or service, you add them in leads. When you want to keep in touch with your customers or the person you purchased your products or services, you should add them in contacts. Also, your regular customer or the customer you want to track with your financial details and other involvement you should have them in accounts so for each department this account will help with the data like let's say sales for sales people it will have the data accordingly and for the marketing people who are into managing their uh, role directly with the customer that account will be able to share that data as well activities will be the tasks that we are performing within our crm like scheduling calls tasks and meetings etc also you'll find that there is option to add user there is also customization and personalizing setting for each one of us we can also upload our own logo we can change the theme so that this CRM looks much different and we can also adjust the time zone so if you want to start from the scratch I suggest adding your staff as a user in your team then you can start from contact or accounts let's say you want to start from accounts just click on create account give the name let's say John Doe okay then you have site parent account account number if you have any in your journals then account type let's say customer then their address their description shipping their website and few other details just save it and you will find them in accounts tab so you have accounts with the name of the person phone website and any other information also the same will be common among your accounts as well let's say if you want to import contacts or accounts and you have to just upload the specific file like say CSV, XLX and VCard. Once you do that, you can click on next and the contact will be shown here. Right now I didn't upload it any so there will not be any contact visible here. Otherwise you will find that just like accounts, contacts will be visible here. Let's check out what leads are for leads like our accounts allows us to manually create or import it so let's say I am adding John Doe again here Yes, yeah, so just like 
account you will find lead has similar information and you will be able to check the leads once the data is uploaded uh, if you have migrated from sugar crm or similar other open source crm then you will find that single information is not shared among leads accounts contacts and potentials so you will have to manually add your data in each one of them so for example i have uploaded john doe here but for accounts and contacts i will have to upload the same data repeatedly so if you are using crm like sugar crm then you will be able to share that information among all these types so this model leads or accounts or contacts will share common data in sugar crm but not in zoho crm so for contacts you will have to manually create the contact okay so you have to fill in this data and save then and only then the data in respect to module will be populated okay so let's check the potential you will have to even create a potential here so click on create potential then you have to name that potential let's say catering supplier count closing date should be 28 amount should be 20000 okay the name john do again we can import him from accounts so when you are using potentials you can import him here and save it uh, first stage Okay, so I have this information. Now I have everything here, so I'll be able to create it. Now, what if you want to copy the con lead from accounts? In that case, just create a new account or new lead. Let's say I will start from lead, and if I want to copy. particular person into our lead in that case what i will have to do is i will have to create account and then take the data and also import here so same data can be imported here when you export from accounts right so that's excel file or csv file can be used in case of potentials you can just pin point the particular account and you will be able to get this data only the specific data about potential will you will have to add now what about reports in case of reports you will have to add the data and then you will be able to access reports with respect to accounts let's say you have key accounts then that data will be shown here then reports about lost potentials their stages sales also for leads activity and sales metrics based on your uh, added data you will be able to see the reports so the more data you have the better it is for your reports then we have activities you want to track crm activities like task a particular event for meeting let's say and call when you want to call a particular person so these are the activities that you can track or create new for example if i want to create a task call for the meet okay so this is my subject contact i can import the contact from our contacts tab
okay once you do that you can save it now your task is created call for meet and it is shown here now in activities you'll find it displayed here now you go back to the home dashboard and you will find this you will be able to access all your modules and respective tasks from here as well go to the respective modules and you will be able to see the added data and able to add new as well there is also one feature for send mail you just have to click on it and click on send mail Unable to send leads because email address is not available so I didn't add any email so whenever I add email for the contact I'll be able to send them an email right from our solo Soho CRM so I'm sure now this quick introduction to Zoho CRM help you understand how the CRM works if you already work with CRMs like sugar CRM or any custom created CRM then I'm sure you'll find working with Zoho CRM a lot easier I just gave you a quick intro so uh, this was not a complete thorough review of Zoho CRM and I will see you in next tutorial and if you have any questions regarding uh, Zoho CRM like in-depth uh, use of any of the models then let me know in the uh, comments below this video and I will make specific video for the particular module and then we will be able to solve your queries as well okay so bye